round two. This is the second time that I'm filming this video because my microphone decided to make a buzzing noise the entire time during this video and one other video that I filmed, so I have to refilm both of them. So excited. Hey guys, it's Brianna, and today we are talking about posture. And I feel like I need to sit up very straight during this video because of what I'm talking about. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know that this is a little bit different from the content that I usually make. Um, but I did want to share it because I felt like maybe it would help somebody. If this is the first video you're ever seeing from me, please consider subscribing if you enjoy it. Now, to kind of backtrack before we start talking about the actual 30 days that I set out for myself to improve my posture, I want to talk a little bit about why I chose to do that. I've always kind of struggled with my posture, and I think it's a common thing for people in my generation to struggle with, just because we are the generation of technology, and so we are constantly hunched over our phones, our laptops, all that kind of stuff, so I think that it's really common for us to have problems with posture, and I think it's just a common problem in general for people because, I mean, there is that thing called gravity that pulls you closer and closer to the ground, which is why people shrink as they get older. I have always kind of had an issue with my posture. I've also had people say it to me, like my friends have said. Oh my god, you look so much better when you sit up straight. My mom, I think that's like a typical mom thing where they say, Oh my god, sit up straight, sit up straight. All the time. But you don't just want to make a change because other people tell you to make that change. So I actually have seen photos of myself, videos of myself, especially with doing YouTube, and noticed how awful my posture truly was. And I didn't like it personally. So that's why I wanted to change it. And also I had been experiencing more recently some like, back pain and neck pain and I do work from home on a laptop constantly so I'm constantly hunched over and so I thought that it was time to make a change. A quick disclaimer before we start, I am not a doctor, a physical therapist, or a personal trainer and if this is something that you do decide to do, just know that this is what worked for me. It might not work for you, um, but listen to your body and also listen to the professionals if this is something you're interested in trying. So I'm gonna wait to the end to show you my before and after photos side by side, but I do wanna show you the before photo so that we can discuss what exactly needed to be fixed. Here's what my back looked like before, and you can see that my shoulders are really hunched forward, so uh, forward shoulder posture is something that I was really looking to improve on. Something that I didn't even realize I did was I have what's called anterior pelvic tilt. Some people have the opposite. Some people have posterior pel pelvic tilt. But essentially my spine wasn't in a neutral position. I was prone to sort of rocking my hips forward. So my butt was kind of sticking out and I was also sort of sticking my belly out. So it's almost as if, if you go from the top of my shoulders to my lower back, it's almost as if my, my spine, my back was creating like an S shape. Now I want to talk about the two products that really helped me throughout this journey, both of which I have linked below, so definitely check them out if you're interested in trying any of these. The first thing is this, which I got off of Amazon. It is a posture corrector, not a jock strap. Jessie, my friend Jessie came over one day and saw this in my room, and at first glance she thought it was a jock strap. It is not. It's a posture corrector. The brand is... Truio, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I just got it off Amazon. Again, I will link that below in case anyone wants to check it out. But basically what it is, is exactly what you would think it would do. It pulls your shoulders back. So you put it on like this and you want the logo to be facing upwards, the little American flag. So you put it over your shoulders like this and pull it down. Then you probably need to adjust this in the back. And you wanna pull this down so that it's in the center of your back. And then there's Velcro here. So what you would do is unhook the Velcro, pull it up, and attach the Velcro on. Now depending on how wide your shoulders are, depending on your size, it is going to be a different height that you pull it back to. But basically I just pulled it back to as far as I could get my shoulders back without being super uncomfortable. So this is one of the products that I used a lot. And this is actually what kind of started me on this journey of posture because I saw a couple reviews of these online and I was like, hmm, maybe I should try that out and see if it works for me. The next thing that I have been using is the Spree Foam Roller. I didn't incorporate this from the beginning just because I didn't even know we had it at home. I used this a lot to just roll out my back, create some more space in my spine, and also to sort of massage the mus muscles of the back, and it also kind of helps give you a stretch in your chest. 
Um, so again, I will link this down below. It is a high density foam roller from the brand Spree. So now that you know everything that I used to do this, I want to talk about the three ways that I adjusted my lifestyle. So the first one, like I mentioned, was using the posture corrector. I did not use it every single day of the 30 days, but I will explain why when I get into the nitty gritty of what I did each day. But I did use it for a good majority of the time, and the posture corrector is not going to completely change your life. What it does do, however, is create a habit. So I think they say, like, if you wear it for 14 days or something, you've created a new habit. And so if you can get into the habit of pushing your shoulders back, eventually you won't need this anymore. Um, so this was more so to get me into the habit of keeping my shoulders back and also when I'm working on a laptop or doing anything that usually my shoulders would be crunched forward, I would throw that on so that I couldn't physically move my shoulders forward. The second thing, and I think probably the most important thing, is exercise. Now, like I said before, I am not a personal trainer, so when I show you clips later in the video of me doing the exercises, I'm probably just going to speed them up. I'm not going to show you step by step what I did, just because if, if my form is off or I'm not doing the move completely correctly, because again, I'm not a personal trainer, I don't want anyone else to mimic it and then hurt themselves. So. What I will do is link below the videos that I use to adjust my posture. Now, if you do decide to do this, make sure before you do this, assess your own body. I, for example, had the anterior pelvic tilt issue, but not everybody is gonna have that issue. So figure out what it is that you have going on with your posture and go from there. The channel that I got the two videos from is a personal trainer and he has tons of different posture videos. So even if the ones that I link below don't work for you, check out the rest of the videos on his channel because he has tons of different videos for all different types of posture and how to correct it. I also do want to mention that I did start going to the gym in January and so I think that being able to incorporate these exercises into an already existing workout routine really worked for me. I think if I had gone from doing nothing to doing this, I probably wouldn't have stuck with it, but because I had that pre-existing workout routine, I could just add these things in, and also when I was doing like a bar class or a yoga class, I could be more mindful of my posture and be thinking about the different movements that I should and shouldn't be doing when it comes to exercise. The third thing that I wanted to talk about is sleeping position. There are three main sleeping positions that most people use. The first is sleeping on your stomach. If you are sleeping on your stomach, please stop. Sleeping on your stomach is really, really bad for you. It's the worst position to sleep in for posture and for tons of other things, mainly because you are compressing all of your organs, your spine is not straight, and it can also cause breathing problems. So make sure that if you are a stomach sleeper, try to at least switch to being a side sleeper. That leads me to the second position. One of the most common sleeping positions is a side sleeper. Now, some people sleep more in the fetal position with their knees higher up, and some people sleep on their side with their knees lengthened. And then the third way is to sleep on your back, which for posture is the best way to sleep. Because of course, when you're sleeping on your back, gravity's working with you, it's pulling your shoulders back, you're getting a chest stretch, and your spine is completely straight. I tried for the life of me during these 30 days to sleep on my back, and I just could not do it. I have also been trying to sleep on my back which out of the nine days that I've tried has not worked yet, but we're still trying. I am a very consistent side sleeper and I switch from side to side. What I did start doing was sleeping with a pillow between my knees because I have been reading that that's good for your lower back. I think just because I'm in such a habit of sleeping on my side that I just couldn't switch, I would lay on my back for a while and not be able to fall asleep. However, if you are a side sleeper, there are some adjustments that you can make to your sleeping position to help your posture. So what I did start doing was, rather than crunching my legs up really, really high up, I was making sure my legs were more lengthened, which is great for your back, but also the most important thing is putting a pillow between your knees. If I'm using my fingers as an example, if my knuckles are my knees and these knuckles are my hips, your hips are wider than your knees, obviously. And so this, leg's, this leg is gonna be straight because it's on the mattress. This leg, however, because this hip is higher, is gonna be tilted downwards. So this leg is pulling down on this hip, which pulls down on your lower back and is not good for your posture. But if you put a pillow between your knees, it elevates that leg and allows for your lower back to be in a more neutral position and your hips are not being pulled on at all. 
So I did start implementing the pillow between the knees thing, which isn't a big adjustment to make because it's not like you're completely switching your sleeping position. It was actually super easy and I find it to be more comfortable because then your knees aren't knocking into each other at night. So those are the three main changes that I made, but I'm going to go through the day to day and let you know the nitty gritty of what I did each day. I literally marked out on the calendar what I did each day so that I would not forget when it came time to film this video. Beginning on March 26th, this was the first day that I did anything. And like I mentioned, I didn't use the foam roller right away just because I didn't even know we had one, but I did use the posture corrector and I did do the exercises. So I think I have some clips from the first day and maybe the first two days of what I had been doing. I'm sitting here getting some work done, so I am going to put on my posture corrector. All right, it's been just over an hour since I put this on, so I'm about to take it off because I finished working. I was reading about some exercises that I'm supposed to do daily to try to strengthen my back and also some stretches to stretch out my chest which because supposedly when you have a hunched back your chest is tighter and your back is weak and so the posture corrector also helps stretch out your chest muscles and then for the lower back issue um, there are some other exercises for that and stretches for that so I'm going to do some of those right now. Okay, for the first one I need a wall, so we're gonna do it in the hallway. Day two. I do a bar class on Wednesdays, so I'm gonna go do that, and I will probably incorporate the exercises in today while I'm at the gym, and will be very mindful during my bar class about my posture so that I can make sure that I am making that my top priority. So I continued on with the first three days doing everything, but then when it came to the fourth day, I experienced a lot of back pain. And anytime I tried to put on the posture corrector, my back, my upper back was hurting. And so I decided I was going to take a break from it. I just didn't feel like it was a good idea to push myself right away to wear it if I was having back pain. However, I did still do the exercises that day. The next day I felt fine, so I did both. The same thing that following Monday. And then on that Tuesday, I didn't do anything. And the reason for that was I just feel like it is important with any type of workout routine, you need to have a rest day or two. So I included a rest day in. Wednesday I did both. Thursday I did not wear the posture corrector again, but I did the exercises. And then that Friday, April 5th, is when I started incorporating the foam roller, which I did almost every single day after that. Then on that following Saturday is when something interesting happened because my mom actually noticed a change in my posture. So I had been talking to my parents and my dad made a comment, oh, your mom said to me the other day that your posture looked really good. Can you repeat what you just said? Why? What did you notice? What? What did you notice? I noticed that your posture is getting better. And at the time I hadn't told anyone that I was doing this challenge just because I wanted to see if they would notice without me prompting it, and she actually did. And I feel like, like I said before, moms are always the one that, ones that notice when you're hunched, so I was very excited to hear that she did notice that my posture was improving. So I continued the process until April 24th, which made for 30 days, and again, I've said it a million times, but I didn't do everything every day just because People forget sometimes, sometimes I would forget to do things, sometimes I was having some back pain so I decided to hold off. But overall, I was pretty successful at doing most things each day. And now let's look at my before and after photos. I'm gonna pull it up on my phone so that I can talk through it as I'm looking at the photo. Okay, so here is what I looked like after the 30 days. And I was actually shocked at the progress. Of course it's not perfect, but it's a lot more drastic of a change than I thought I was gonna see. So even if we're starting at the top of the photo, you can tell that even my head position is further back. I do want to mention that I stood in a relaxed position the entire time taking the photos because I wanted it to be as authentic as possible. So I didn't like push my shoulders back or anything. My shoulders are 
down and back more. Um, again, they're not perfect, but there's definitely a noticeable difference. But the biggest difference comes in my lower back. Now, at first glance, you might say, oh wow, her stomach got flatter. But actually, it didn't, because I didn't lose any weight during this entire process. What happened was, I strengthened my core and I strengthened my glutes, and so my spine is straighter. As you can see in the first photo, before, you can't even see my back because it's behind my arm. That's how far forward I was pushing out my stomach almost. So then if you look at the second photo, you could see my, my and you're, you're gonna have a little bit of an arch to your back, but you can see that my back is much straighter and looks so much nicer. So I was very shocked to see those results when I finally did the side-by-side -side of the photos. And then I also did wanna show the second one. It's less of a difference, but I still wanted to point out that there is a slight change. So if you look at the top photo, you can see that my shoulders are super duper far forward and my, as I would call them, chicken wing bones are sticking out, aka my shoulder blades are sticking out a lot more. What you do notice in the bottom photo is that they're a lot closer together, which means that my shoulders are further back. Now I think they're always gonna stick out a little bit, but again, I would like to see some more improvement with my shoulders and my shoulder blades being pushed back more. Um, but you can definitely see that they're closer together and protruding from my back slightly less than they were in the first photo. I am very proud of the progress that I was able to make in just 30 days. Imagine if I did everything every single day for 30 days and more, my posture would be amazing. I just wanted to share this with you guys in the hopes that maybe somebody would benefit from it. If you decide to do a 30 day challenge like this with your posture, please let me know and I'll encourage you along the way. Even if you feel like you need to leave a comment every single day for those 30 days to keep yourself accountable, do it and I will cheer you on throughout the entire journey. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing and turning on the notifications as well. I also have all of my social media handles linked below. Anything I talked about in this video will also be linked below for your information. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye!